Hello, this is Nick from the future, hijacking the video of the Nick Amell update. So basically, what I want to say before past Nick takes over is tonight we will be releasing two things. The teaser trailer for Final Report, the one that was end at, the f at the end of the first look, you know, the cool one. And also, what we will also be releasing is something I made donkeys years ago. Uh, it was a fan film uh, called Stargate the Guardians because as you can see I am a massive 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 fan of Stargate it's one of my favorite series ever and when I was a kid I wanted to make a series about it and all I can say is the main character was a Tokra and he was related to Jack O'Neill in some way. So, right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go back to past Nick. So, enjoy this Nick and Mel update. Bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this August 2024 Nick and Mel update. And of course, it's not just a Nick and Mel update; it's also our anniversary month. So. I'm kind of calling this Nick and Mel update a bit of an intermission because so far we've released uh, the first look of Memory Remains, uh, our first full look of uh, Final Report. We've released the pilot for uh, doc uh, Doctor, no, 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 Doctor, uh, Detective Harper's uh, reports, which I'm looking forward to seeing come to fruition. And obviously, we have now released uh, a, a promo reel as well as an inside of what could have been with The Gathering, the fateful third feature film that never came to pass. Uh, now, obviously, we're about half way through what we've got planned for content but before I talk about the future content I just want to dissect I want to go back and dissect uh, what we've released so far so bear with me I need my phone to kind of you know remember because I'm getting old now I'm starting to forget things oh, Pokemon's up on my phone that's not good that's not good I'm very professional um, okay so I believe obviously the first thing we released was the introduction just you know me and my dad saying thank you and blah 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 because that's what we do see I like to keep these things honest that's what's good about these Nick and Mel updates is you can just basically say what the f hell you want <laughs> so what have we released so far so I believe the first thing we released was our first look at memory remains and I'm so glad we finally got some footage out into the world of memory remains because uh, it's it's nice to not only have something under our umbrella that is different and new but it's also not mine it's it's Steve and Dave's and it's got to the point now where I feel like I've almost taken my not not completely I I'm still got some input but it's it's more Steve's film now he is the main director of the film you could probably call me uh, an AD assistant director or a second unit director but it is Steve's vision he's calling the shots he knows exactly he can literally see it in his head he's got it all planned and I love his process and I hope to as as much as I hope he's learned from me over the years I, I hope I'm gonna learn from him over the years because believe it or not I, w I won't talk too much about this but we've already started talking about a second film we're all gonna do together but I won't get into much of that with day two I believe it was a final report if I'm correct if my phone ever bloody loads yes it was a final report so for me I was glad to get these couple of scenes out because not only is this it's not the beginning but it's very very close to the beginning and it kind of sets the tone for the rest of this semi-short 
almost feature film. I'm not I'm not going to call it a feature film yet because it's not a feature film and I don't really want it to be too long. I want it to be an epilogue to our epic conclusion of the o object legacy and basically say goodbye to the characters. But these couple of scenes where Jack's leaving home, he meets his uncle, says goodbye and then something suddenly revealed about his father and then we get glimpses of like what is to come because obviously in the far first trailer the one of the last shots you saw was Jack with a very long beard and long hair so obviously there's a couple of time jumps in final report and I'm like I'm looking forward to showing that as well as some of the casting announcements because I don't know if you noticed but in the latest teaser that was in that preview I didn't list any cast because at the moment I want to keep who's coming back a secret as much as possible obviously we've announced my dad my mum and my uncle Lawrence uh, uh, Jacqueline and Stephen coming back but so far I'm um, keeping it hush hush on the rest of the cast until they actually film their scenes and it's done and dusted and they can go look well, this guy's back uh, the third day what did we do for the third day I believe we released oh yeah we did story time the fear inside see i really enjoyed uh reading the original script of the object and i almost i almost did the fear inside myself but i thought it was very appropriate for my dad to read it because he starred in the film you know he he knows that character and that story very well because that was his introduction into this universe so i thought it would be very interesting for my dad to read that original sto short story and ironically andrew the uh, composer of the uh, uh, extended cuts of uh, the fear inside actually reached out and said to us that you should do more of these little story times so uh, as I'll get on to with a, not the next one but the one after it may be a process we're going to do for one of the cancelled films of this universe next I believe we released the pilot episode of Mr. Myers Mr. Myers no I've got that wrong detective Harper's reports now basically what this show is going to be about is I what I wanted to do is I wanted to do character bios because I love the characters of the anthology universe and I wanted to tell their stories in like some form of a bio that you don't really see in the film but that is in their character but I wanted to do it in a canon way in a way that the story was uh, you know part of you know the part of the canon as uh, and so I thought well the best way to do that is to do that because uh, Detective Harper's investigating the West Sussex Sussex incident the whole time he's been keeping up keeping up with the case he was literally in the fear inside looking for the missing children so it felt right to use him as an anchor to tell the stories of every single character so far that we've introduced into these films and have a background of the character what's happened to him because not only will it act as a character bio but it also acts as almost a catch-up because I plan for all this series to come out before the object legacy as like you know a catch-up story for you so you know all these characters going in and then you get to the epic conclusion of the object legacy and then next on the list the last thing I, I, I've released so far is the gathering uh, promo reel and then a uh, inside of the gathering and just a little tidbit that inside I literally recorded edited and put online within like three hours I'm mad I know I'm doing it exactly the same as this actually recording straight into the microphone um, it was a little cathartic talking about about the gathering because obviously at the time um, we were doing the businessman and the object legacy and briefly as well the gathering because all these films kind of cross over you've got the businessman uh, we, we were literally filming the businessman at one point and then an hour later we'd be filming scenes for object legacy or the gathering so it, it became very very complicated to do and also you've got to understand as well that the gathering at the time didn't have a finished script it's got a finished outline story now i know exactly what happens in the film uh but it was very complicated especially as uh 
because obviously we've got this five year time jump between say the end of the object and then the object legacy and the the, the businessman gets close to near the end of that five year time jump but there's a couple of years like leeway and uh, the gathering was going to fill the rest of that gap in and all that and um, the last mission they go on was the same night that happens in the object legacy because obviously mo the majority of the object legacy happens in one night so there was a, quite a few crossover scenes and you will see them when we finally release the object legacy and I'm sure some of the cast have already seen it because I've released a work print to them so yeah that that is where we're at at the moment and as I said at the time when we made it it was the right decision to shelve the gathering again it's something I hope to get back to one day but we will see depending on what format it goes in audio maybe a story time telling or maybe in a long 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 time when we've got a bigger budget and maybe a studio behind us so anyway that is what we've talked about so far and now we're at the halfway point so what have we got coming next i believe one of the next things coming up is obviously our new look at the object legacy so basically what we're going to do is we're filming scenes at the moment that are going to fill in the gaps of the object legacy to basically make it feel like a more of a complete experience uh, and i want to show some of that footage to you that will be coming soon uh we're thinking maybe next week we're going to start up with uh, again with the 27th anniversary celebrations because as we said in the beginning we don't want to do a burnout we don't want to we don't want to force ourselves to do something daily 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 and then it kills us so uh, that was the the process in mind of doing bits here having a bit of a break doing bits here having a bit of a break and doing bits here next on the list is uh, my next freelance slash uh, I I can't say at the moment because it's very early days, but it's uh, my new project I'm working on uh, filming for Diving Into The Beyond. I can reveal that much now. It's uh, basically uh, a friend, a couple of friends actually are from work. Uh, and this is le also leads back to the Nick Pry promo video I made, um, which I'm I actually surprised about because that that was a qu very quick turnaround. We filmed it, I got home, I edited it, boom, it was on the internet in a few hours. But with diving into the beyond, this is a group of people that go in search in locations for spirits and, uh, to talk to them. So obviously, this is very new for me. This is obviously a reality thing. Uh, the most notable thing I can compare it to is Most Haunted um, but it was a surreal experience I must say because while I wasn't just filming it I was actually uh, involved in some of the things that they do like using lights to talk to <coughs> ghosts and stuff like that it was surreal I, I Oh, I'll say it now, I, I, I'm I still a skeptic, I must admit, but it definitely kind of pushed me, my curiosity into the beyond a bit more, I must say. Uh, also, what else have we got coming up? Because that's one of the things I'm looking forward to, is that promo. Oh, yes. And one of the last things we'll be showing off is a secret project which we are not ready to announce yet. Oh. And the police are trying to tell me off. The police are trying to say, Look, you can't announce this project yet. Oh dear, what am I going to do? Oh, well, okay. Basically, it, it will be a teaser. That's all I can say. And it's... Uh, oh, I don't know what to say, to be personally honest. Just look out for a teaser trailer of some kind for a secret project that again as me and my dad said has been on our minds for a long time about revisiting and it's going to be sort of an evolution of the one minute wonders because we we 
experimented with sex sex well, I, I definitely experimented with sex uh, we experimented with sketch comedy but it's a very hard line to play at the moment because no offence to half my audience but you've all got a bit sensitive recently uh, so I don't want to be in a position where we offend people but the project we are talking about <laughs> is all about offending ourselves that's, that's all I can say there really so that will be the last thing to be announced and then you'll have a little farewell speech for me because all these introductions were filmed ages ago and they're all up online ready premiere ready it's just the actual content that's ready to that needs to go up either be filmed or edited and go up so that's probably it for this Nick and Mel update to be personally honest I just wanted to say thank you very much for tuning in watching our new announcements the, our new pilot for our new web series our new story time with the, for the fear inside um, and obviously our first looks for final report and the the gathering and obviously memory remains which I'm so excited to see um, and I don't want to say anything because Steve is mulling over the idea of maybe screening it somewhere. That's all I say. That, that, that's all you'll get out of me. Um, okay. On that note, thank you all very much for coming along this ride of 27 bloody years of Nicomel. I mean, you could probably take away four or five years where I had a bit of a mental breakdown and quit. But I'm back now. And you're stuck with me, okay? You hear me? You're fucking stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful Stephen Reed in the background. Uh, anyway, yes, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, I'm glad to be in the process of not only telling stories but helping other people tell their stories so that is where we're going in the future so I hope you all join us on the journey beyond and we shall see you soon for the rest of the 27th anniversary content because we're not over yet we've got more to come so I shall see you very very soon Thank you very much, guys. Love you always, and goodbye.